Guys, today I'm at Clapham Common. Uh, I'm going to do something slightly different today. Um, it's magnet fishing, but not actually in water. I'm going to show you what I've got in a moment. Uh, I thought about this idea a couple of times actually, and I decided to give it a go. Um, today's Tuesday the 10th, and it's uh, 12.40, I believe. It's around about that time. Yeah, 12.42, Tuesday, 10th of July. Now, what this is, is a magnet on wheels. And what it does is, it will pick up uh, loose change, ball tabs, and um, possibly, um, I know it picks up 1s, 2s, 5s and 10s, we don't seem to pick up 20p's, 10p's I'm not sure about £1 and £2 coins I'm just going to show you this bolt tag down here and there we go, it's picked it up now the good thing is, it's actually got a release thing on here as well let me just put this camera on my head quickly and what you do is you kind of like just pull up this bit here and it releases it so what I'm going to do is just give it a go so it's picking up stuff as you can hear and it's already picked up a penny so it's paying for itself already now I did see the other day um, as I was going across I did pick up some coins uh, on the surface find uh, it was a pound coin 250s so you might not pick up some of the stuff because it's too far and the magnet isn't far enough down on the ground I don't think but it will pick up a lot of bottle tap stuff There you go, so you picked up another penny. Bottle tabs. Um, I'll dispose of those later. What I'm going to do is get my bag out. My waste bag. So it's an idea if you guys uh, have picnic areas around there and you just want to go around picking up some loose change might be worth doing maybe it might be the next uh, phase that I might start off for magnet fishing but it don't seem to pick up and I don't think, even if I pick it up no, I don't pick up bottle tab lids of uh, cat uh, pull rings I should say now you can just pick it up and pull them off but it does have a release button or handle on there and the only thing is you need to find out roughly where people sit on here they do normally sit around on this bit quite a lot so because it's only a small one it will take me longer 
to do the field. I'm not actually going to be doing the whole whole field. And you see, like, you know, it's picking them up quite easily. Kind of. Grass is a little bit longer than expected. You know, you can see where people have been sitting, and you've got bottle ta taps. You are going to be finding coins around this area, I'm pretty sure of it. And if you're a person who likes collecting um, bottle top lids, then this will be an idea for you because it won't, you won't have to keep. Um, bending down picking them up I like collecting corks as well so all we've got to do is try to think where people might sit and this field does usually get a lot of people sitting down on here especially weekends I think that was a bit of dog's turd I just picked up then I don't think the magnet's that strong. It's strong enough to pick up coins and bottle taps sometimes, but so I just found the surface fine here, the 5P. So it picked up the 5P, okay. No, this works out. I'll probably uh, decide to get a stronger one one with medallion uh, magnets in neodelium I should say the only thing is it doesn't pick up like you know the normal uh, gold silver platinum uh, I don't think it picks up lead No, I could do around the trees a swirl maybe Just I don't think a lot of people know what I'm, well, a lot of people will see what I'm doing actually What I want to do later is get a, a bigger one, stronger one. Now, does it pick up those? Yes, it picks up these. Now this is a very big field So I picked up 7 pin coins Another thing is to try to keep an eye out You know, while you're going along Because if you don't pick up certain coins Then um, if you hear a click like that Just check where it clicked Because it might have missed some coins Especially like, you know, the one pound, two pounds. So it's picking up now. Let's do 
up around here. What a miserable sod he is. <laughs> Only got his daughter. So it won't pick up stuff which is like kind of half stuck in the dirt. What's that? Nice little bottle. Now again, it depends on where people sit. Now, have you got an idea of where pub, you know, the public sit most of the times? Like there's a spoon here. Fresh fitness suit. If you hear a click and it's not a bottle tab, um, bottle top, or like you know, this one for instance, you know, there's various bottle tops here you can collect if you're a bottle top collector, uh, which I'm not. I'm just like, no, I heard a click there, I don't know whether it's a bottle top or coin. Bottle top, but every time you run through it across something that clicks just check where you just went over because it could be coins as I say now, it might not pick up certain coinage it seems to be like a sports day or something over there so it might be interesting to go over there later you know there's a lot of field in, around this area but you know, it'd take ages to do. You know, it'd probably take me a couple of hours to do this field. No, I will probably. There's a lighter over there. So you do so fine surface finds as well. Working lighter. No, it's just like magnet fishing in one way, but you're doing it on the ground, on the uh, surface, earth, grass. I know you're walking along with your your handle. You know you can be cutting an eye out to your left and right for coinage. No, it's 7 p.m. in 5 minutes ain't too bad actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more coinage around here. See, grass like this where it's like flattened down, you know, you are going to see the coins quite easily and people are going to see them and pick them up but if it's kind of like a little bit more greener and sometimes you don't see the coins it's like that 5p no it's only 5p but you know a little build up eventually I actually need to get a bag out in a minute because this waste bag is already getting filled up with bottle caps. So 
So if you're a bottle cap collector, this is ideal. You know, I've not gone in a proper straight line, so I probably am missing bits and pieces. Probably two that flicked off earlier. It's a shame you don't pick up um, things a little bit deeper. But I suppose if you've got like a, a neon dillion magnet on it, it might pick up stuff. This is actually helping with the environment as well, clearing up people's trash. Actually I'll just go around this area. I like those bins here and people can't even put trash in the bins. Oh, well, there's a watch or something then. See? Well. Bags open. Oh, I've got to bring an extra bag. Now let's take my drink one out. Now, although I've got permission to do magnet fishing, I haven't actually got permission to do what I'm doing at the moment, but I'm pretty sure I will do once I fill this bag up with bottle tops or half fill it. Because I've never seen any one come around here and pick up the metal trash. Broken zip. Right. 
I've had to come over here because there's people in my way. Touches and voila. So I can't get them if it's like dug into the dirt, so I'm not allowed to dig. But stuff on the ground. Only finding bottle tack uh, tops, not really finding many coins. Hello, uh, can I see your thing? It's running, eh? Take a moment, eh? It's picking up all the bottle caps. I'm gonna see. It. I'm gonna see in about it. Cause you know I do magnet fishing anyway. Oh. In the lakes, this is just like magnet. Yeah, it's picking up, money. picking up coins? the bottle tops. Some oh, it pick up a couple one. of coins. Yeah. Only this one. Oh no no but no! It pick up coins. Yeah, it pick up some coins like ones, twos, fives, and tens. Oh. Twenty p's it won't. Fifty p's I'm not. It won't. But the new one pound and two pound coins I don't know because oh. I've not got any to try out. But. But this one you use for something? Yeah. Mm. Right, I've got some old coins here, which I got from the river the other day, right? Uh. Look, I'll put a couple here. Yeah. I'll just run it over. Uh, very nice. So I'm helping to clean yeah, the environment. Clean the park, yeah. yeah, clean the very park up. Yeah, yeah. I've asked if I can do metal detecting, but Ian Bolton said he's got to ask his manager. But he's not been able to see his manager for a month. But um, oh. I'm going to go and see him about doing this. Okay. I'm just giving it a quick test run. Yes. But like I've got like a, a black bag. Yeah. Which I've just put some bottle tops in. Uh. All that. Yeah. What? When you come? Um Summertime when people here. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It is summer. Yeah, there was a load of here yeah, people here. here. Yeah, I know there was a load of people here uh, the weekend. Yeah. So that's why I come because I, when they're here Saturday and Sunday, they're going to be drinking, 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 yeah. and they can't be bothered pointing the bin. So I'm doing my bit of the environment yeah. and like, you know, I've, nice. I've not even been You're here. Doing a good job, yeah. You know, it's not even been ten minutes, and I've got all these bottle tops, and I did see a kid running around and she got her foot caught on yeah but the thing the thing is right yeah the thing is this will only pick up yeah but they're all they're all dug in the magnet is not strong enough to pull it out so it ain't gonna work this one here. You know, if they were out in the ground, out of the ground, then I'd be able to pull them out. But because they dug into the ground, 
and I ain't got permission to dig into the dirt. <gasps> don't dig. Don't. No, that's what I mean. I ain't yeah. got permission to dig. Because um, I've asked you I can do metal detecting, but to say I'm yeah, I'm waiting for Ian to get permission for me. Oh, you wait for Ian? Yeah, I'm waiting for Ian to but get permission. Maybe he's in office today. No? Yeah, I'm going to go over there in a little while. Okay, I'm just yeah. doing this for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Just to show him exactly not, not what I'm picking up, you know, kind of thing. So he, he might say, no, I don't want you doing it. But if I can show him how much I've picked up within 5, 10 minutes, yeah. he'll probably say, yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 10, 5, 10 minutes is a, is a lot. Yeah. yeah. But like you know, if they're on the ground on on the service, yeah. they pick up no problem. No, but if they're not on, on the service and they're in like the ground, it's not going to pick them up. And I'm not going to be standing around like looking for every bottle tap yeah. and digging them out. And if I had permission to dig them, I'm not going to do that. No, no, it'll take too long. I'm just like doing the service, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, have a good day, eh? Alright then. So you get people like that who works for the council who think you're you're doing a great service, you know, which we are doing a service, we're cleaning up the uh the land from uh bottle tops and Possibly rusty nails. I found a rusty nail already. You know, I ain't found many coins yet, but don't mean that there ain't no coins lying around. Some people, when they lose coins, they don't mind it, you know, especially like drunk, they don't even know that drop coins. But I did find some coins just over here the other day. No, it's mainly under the shade where people sit. And that's where you're going to find, or possibly find, a lot more coinage. Don't go around picking up bottles. That's for the council to do. I'm doing my little bit here. Now this will be an idea as well for when you have fun fears. I know in certain countries magnets don't pick up coins. Like, you know, I've not seen anyone do magnet fishing uh, in America and picking up coins. Yeah, what you can do guys is that you can actually close the telescopic area down and just turn it to lock it and then when you want to open it, just twist it bring it up, twist back and this actually allows you to release um, the fines 
so you drop it in one place or you can just turn it around and take it off I was a little bit worried to be honest here uh, with that guy I thought he was going to tell me to fuck off I said well I've got permission to do magnet fishing on the lakes this is the same kind of thing just that it's doing it on land so I actually found the coins along that dirt pathway no I would say it's not so much coming out and finding or trying to find crap load of coins so I don't think they'll happen no, you might find some surface ones look, that lean pick that up, I think oh no, that's aluminium so it won't pick it up well, I suppose I'll pick it up just to caught in a bin later you need to try to figure out where people may have set you know, like, if you see cigarette butts that's plastic um, bottle tip tops, pull tins you know, paper look at this, like and a piece of like no, fucking ridiculous I don't know why people are so fucking dirty and lazy and the good thing is you're not digging up the ground So that's a plus. So there's good things about it and there's bad things about it. The good things is that you're helping the environment, you're picking up some of the trash. Um, but it don't pick up certain metals. You know, it won't pick up um, certain coins. Won't pick up gold silver, platinum so I'm going to go up to there and just have another walk down I'm not going to be doing all this field completely today like, you know, I've got to go and make sure it's ok on first if not then I'm going to work out where else I can go But this part of the field is where they mainly uh, settle down another cork. They settle down and have their drinks. Some people are good enough to like take their trash away. Some don't. I've got a banging headache now. I don't think I've got my meds with me. I want to try to get a stronger one, one with a stronger magnet I'm not going to be able to do that unless I've got money Not five in one go Another cork Corks are key because I can make fishing floats out of if I ever start fishing again. But £50 a licence at the moment that I can't afford to buy. Shit, I'll put them in one place. Oh, 
Look at that sunglasses. Right, let's go over to Ian and speak to him for a little while. And if he gives me permission, then I'll um might come back over a bit later, but I want to try another talk. I've probably go through these um, bottle tops before I throw them away because it looks like there's some interesting ones. I'm not a bottle cop top collector, but I know someone who is. Another cork. Another one, but it's kind of like yucky, but I'll take it. That was a load of glass being thrown into um, skip, I think. But usually, a lot of people sleep, kind of sit all over that area. Now the handle's not too bad, a little bit kind of like grimy on the ends. Right guys, I'm going to stop the video and I'll get back to you a little while later. Cheers for watching, see you soon. Guys, I just went over to speak to Ian Bolton, but he's not in. Uh, I just speak to one of the uh, guys that work there, and he said that there shouldn't be no problem because if I do magnet fishing in the water, this is still the same thing, magnet fishing, but on land. So I said, "Well, do you think it'd be alright if I just do this field for today?" And he said, "Yeah, shouldn't, you know, shouldn't be no problem." So that's what I'm going to do. The rest of this field. There is um a field there where there's a lot of people on so if I'm here when they leave I might try over there see if there's any coin spillages or anything so um I'll uh, put a camera on for a little while I'm not sure how good you can see this, but I'm trying my best. There's a couple here which I've just seen. My bag is actually getting full, <laughs> would you believe it? I've only got a small bag uh, safety pin. So it is picking up other stuff, as you can see. Could this be the next big kind of thing going with magnet fishing? Maybe, don't know. If you live in a country where, you know, a lot of your coins can be picked up by magnet, this might be ideal for you. So I'm just going to go like backward and forwards kind of thing. I wish this was a bit bigger actually. I think they do do bigger ones. 
but uh, they're more expensive. So um, until I get back uh, in payment wise in coins oh, on what I hope I might find from using this. So I'm sure I've done over here a little while ago. See all those. And if you're a bottle top collector, this would be brilliant for you. I'm pretty sure anyone that owns parks will be happy for you to go around collecting bottle tops so as you for bending over and picking them up I've still not seen any coinage yet The guy I was just talking to over at the depot um, said what I could do is buy some uh, neodymium and glue them at the bottom, make it a bit stronger. Um, which is ain't a bad idea actually. But the thing is, you've got to be uh, clear of the wheels. You know, if it's not clear of the wheels, then it's kind of screwed up. Well, I'm going to check up on. Uh, the website um, what kind of magnets these are because I don't think they're neodymium if they are they should be picking up a lot better than they are at the moment so you know when you've actually got something by the click it's like when you find a magnet in the water sometimes you can hear the click I've got a coin. Oh, it's uh, five, five cents. Okay, so it picks up some foreign coins by looks of things. The only thing, as I say, you don't pick up is um, pull tabs. It's uh, aluminium mostly now. Don't know what the time is. Go to times 20 past 2. The handle could be, you know, kind of longer. That was a help. Now, another bottle top. If you are into like bottle tops, this is fucking great. You know, you'd be picking up every bottle top you can come across without bending down. I'm 
some crazy person come out and say, Oh, hey, mate, what are you doing? Because some people might think I'm actually measuring the ground service, which I'm not. Plus, it gives you exercise as well. Some people might say, well, why don't you just, you know, pick up your magnet and just walk until you find bottle tops? Well, the thing is, there could be coins here as well on the ground, which you might not be able to see. Got that five cents. I didn't see that one. getting hot now but yeah I think they could do with a, a slightly longer handle on this one uh, and a stronger magnet so I think these magnets might be feathered right well that's a coin but it's not just bigger Aluminium. So I've noticed that sometimes these bottle tops don't stay on. I think two of them might have came off just for a little while ago. So that one just came off by itself. See, I've lost another one. One of them did come off. And if you're looking around, oh, that corpse a bit fucked, I think. That one came off just then because it's hitting the higher grass and the high grass is like dragging them off. Oh, found a penny. That's 8p in change and 5 cents. It would be nice to hear a clink and look down there's a coin spool down here so I'm paying for my travel costs
so I'm going to walk back and start from this the uh, right part of the grass so I'm missing a bit I ain't gone in a proper straight line so I do start from the outside in these are in there Upside down, that's why. Right, well, I'll uh, turn the camera off again, guys. So it's a bit wonky. Um, at least you're getting a bit of a, a view. I'll leave it on for a couple more minutes. If I feel I might find something apart from another cork. I've got an idea I might find something nice soon. I'll have to find a, like, a little keychain or necklace and it had like a, a ring on it. And the ring was like silver or gold. That'd be cool. I don't think the magnet's all that strong on here, to be honest with you. I might consider, like, sending it back. I don't know. It, it, you know, it's not doing too bad a job, but it's not doing a brilliant job. No, the coin is okay, but with bottle top, it's, you know, they tend to, like, slide off sometimes. <coughs> so I should be over this side. I think these are in.
Oh, I'll turn the camera off again, guys, if I find a thing. I'll let you know. So, um, just run along this bit, and I picked up my first bit of custom jewellery, an earring. It's just probably brass, covered in copper, it's not silver enough, gold, nothing like that. But that's it. So, I'll catch you on the next one if I find anything useful. It's not worth me running this continuously. So you'll probably boil your tears. So, um, yeah, uh, when I decide to finish, I might do a quick review on this and let you see what the view is about. Cheers.